Hey, you ready to check out some of those new powers we got? Of course. Try and regroup with us at the truck. Fuck you, Stu. I'm so sorry, Stu. <gasps> yeah. <sighs> I love this move so much. Oh, that looks super satisfying. I love it. I love it. Yeah, this is really good. I'm not going to say it's the best mobility option we get, but it's the best one we get for a while. No, fuck it. That's the best one now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, now that we got the, the chopper's attention, let's go ahead and show off the frost shield. Yeah, I just love the uh, chopper slowly turning around like, Hey, who <laughs> shoot me? Cut it out. Why would you do this? So, the frost shield is not going to stop missiles. It, it doesn't really do anything against explosions, but against bullets, it's pretty great. And look at how quick it recharges your uh, energy. Oh. Huh. Yeah. You get somebody with a machine gun to stand in front of you, like one of those chain gunners, you will never run out of power. <laughs> You'd think pump, uh, pumping electricity into a big metal flying bird would take it out a little bit faster, but... Yeah, yeah, you would think so, but... Especially with the ice and for all the mechanical parts suddenly <laughs> getting very cold. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty resilient chopper. And I don't know jack shit about choppers, I'm just saying. Go down fighting. I mean, go get at, yourself killed. Yeah, at least Thanks. he knows he's going to lose. So he's just <laughs> telling everyone, hey, let's at least try before we lose. Also, good job, truck. This truck just drove straight through an ice storm. Didn't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those old trucks. They were built better back in the day. <laughs> That one wasn't, though. It was probably a Toyota or something. I mean, that one took a lot of punishment. Yeah. We filled it with icicles and then electrocuted it a lot. It... <laughs> you blew the fucking wheels off of it. Yeah. <laughs> also, I'm sorry to any Toyota fans. I didn't mean to insult your car brand of choice. Yeah, we... We here at Fens LP <laughs> have no particular opinions on... Your preferred make of truck. <laughs> as long as it's not a Chevy. God damn Chevys! Still a secret. <laughs> Follow my boys in the trucks, and they'll lead the charge. Okay, before I noticed that that was LaRoche talking, I thought it was Zeke. Oh. They kind of sound similar, unless they have like the same voice actor. No, they they don't. Okay, they don't. Hey, hey guys, you wanna you wanna give Cole a ride? Nah, yeah. man, make him run. It's funnier. Yeah. Hey, what if uh, what if LaRoche is actually just Zeke from the future? Oh no. <laughs> from an alternate future. Alternate Zeke. I mean, the first game kind of showed that there was an alternate future because the main villain was alternate future Cole. So what if what if LaRoche also fell through that time hole? And uh, speaking of a time hole, oops! <laughs> my PS3 had a little bit of a boo boo. <laughs> All right, you scared me. I thought that the video recording had just—I <laughs> thought like VLC player just fucking crashed. So thanks for that. <laughs> Yeah. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's your there's your infamous too creepy pasta. <laughs> but you know I wrote it because it has phrases like the no no zone. <laughs> it was a great summer day and I bought a copy of Infamous Two from a game store, but it didn't have a cover. <laughs> The cover was just a piece of computer paper with Infamous 2 written in black sharpie. That just means you bought it from a GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> like, that doesn't mean anything anymore. I took the game up to the cashier and he told me, You really don't want that. 
because the new one was already out, and he was telling me to go play Second Son instead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The end. <laughs> I don't think we're very good at this creepypasta thing. No. Or we're really good at it. <laughs> what would be creepier? Us being bad at it, or us being unnecessarily good at it? I mean, well, I'm showing you me being bad at it. That's every <laughs> video. <laughs> So we know it's not that. It turns out that all the militia men are just future Cole. He's oh, just been no. killing himself the whole time. Oh no. Oh, this game got deep. <laughs> That's a lot of time holes to fill. <laughs> Yeah, also now we're at the point of the game where uh, that quick quick change menu for your powers starts showing its, uh, its use. Because mm -hmm. before now, you know, you could just kind of, here's my powers, I can solve an entire fight with them. But now it's like, okay, my mobility and my defensive ability are on the same button. Oh man, you just took out that that broadcast TV antenna. <laughs> How will they watch Univision now? <laughs> it it'll be okay. <laughs> How do you know they're watching Univision? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you just somebody here has to get their telenovela kick filled, <laughs> you know? Which I mean, I don't blame them. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. You've made a poor decision with that weapon today. <laughs> the important thing is he's trying. I guess. Oh. Also, yeah. He was trying. Ice grenade. Super good. Only took two grenades to take out the uh, the minigunner. So how good do those work on Ravengers? Um, pretty good. Pretty good? Pretty good. They don't freeze them. Aw. But uh, it's it's pretty nice because they uh, they explode on impact, so you don't have to you don't have to worry about making sure the ravager stays in one place for too long. Okay. Oh, I miss those. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's also important to note that the uh, the frost shield, when it absorbs bullets, it does give you back energy. It doesn't give you back health. So it's not exactly a substitute for just draining a power source. That bolt pulled up and started firing right into the crowd. You're going to stop him, right? <laughs> well, I guess I have no choice now, man with the strange accent. Or accent? That bolt! <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> this Throw is the what you get. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I get it. <laughs> yeah, so it also turns out... This mission's out... full of shit. Th thank you. Alright, I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out that the ice grenade is also really good... For these kinds of missions. Oh, just blowing up boats? Yeah, like, once you can kind of get the angle right... They they do have a pretty big blast radius. And, uh... Yeah, they'll just fuck things up. Well, that took, like, three or four, so yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it... Basically, I could have done that in two if I had a better, you know, better handle on the arc. So, you know, the other one is right there. Might as well just go do it. Yeah, I kind of like some of these animations for coal climbing, because it's like a spider monkey. <laughs> he's, a, he's a nimble boy. <laughs> yeah, look at how far we can go with that, though. Jesus. Yeah. A 
Chopper's got his pin down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sir, that mustache is. Uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's only like three mustaches in this game. <laughs> Well, that guy had the mustache and the aviator glasses, so oh, you know yeah. he does porn. Yeah. Definitely. Also, the rebels are doing a pretty good job of lighting that chopper up. I was gonna say, out of ammo, my ass. That was like four rockets. Yeah. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Yeah. Now, apparently their <laughs> rockets don't actually do a lot of damage. But... Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so the whole time I'm like, it's going to start shooting at me any moment now. Nope. <laughs> Cole, we're almost out of ammo in about uh, 30 minutes, probably. Yeah, yeah, if you hadn't have got here, we'd have run out of rockets in two hours. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hit, hit I try to pick up block. a forklift, I get a cinder block. <laughs> Please tell me this actually kills the... Oh, you I have no fucking idea. whiffed it. <laughs> Delete yeah, this it, episode, it restart. lazily kind of drifted to the left a little bit, and, uh... No, oh, my one weakness. <laughs> no one ever told Cole how to lead a shot. <laughs> I tried, but... <laughs> Sometimes the aim on the kinetic pulse is really good, but usually it's like, if you're pointing it at something... It'll go there. If you're trying to arc it, and so you're aiming at the sky, good fucking luck. <laughs> yeah, every yeah. time. We get this camera every time, and it's like, it's not it's not special anymore, guys. <laughs> Is the chopper still here? Okay. I know. <laughs> Never I know. mind, it's gone now. <laughs> there was a chopper here. It's <laughs> gone now. And then we got uh, one of these guys. Oh, good. <laughs> a very gross boy. Yeah, a very gross boy. Oh, he just hit you with a booger. Yeah. God, I forgot how gross these things are. And big. Oh, it's already almost dead. Never oh, mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the ice grenades aren't uh, especially good against this. I mean, it does as well as any other grenade. But we still got that bolt stream. I just can't seem to aim is all. Ew. Bro. Ew. <laughs> uh, good Cole, please go take a good shower. <laughs> Do you think Cole can take showers anymore? Like, he, he can't take a bath. That's a great question. Oh, God, do you think he just smells awful? Oh, probably. That's why that's why all of his conduit friends keep teleporting away from him all the time. <laughs> yeah, that Cole, he's a good guy, but... Whew, I really wish he could bathe. <laughs> so this is the best placement of a bomb. Just... If they were actually trying to make it explode, they would just surround it with power sources. Yeah. I'm just I'm just thinking in that book bag Cole has, he probably just has a can of Febreze. Oh and yeah. Just every so often he just has to Yeah. Just all over himself. Just Febreze and like just moist naps. <laughs> like the kind you get from like a wing restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> they bring him out with your pile of ribs and he just like slides them in his pocket. It's like, oh man, you guys, none of you brought me uh, any of the wet wipes. I need some more. <laughs> Cole looks like the kind of guy that would probably use Axe body spray. <laughs> Evil Cole, Evil definitely. Evil Cole, definitely, yes. Yeah. yeah, he just smells like a grungy 14-year-old. <laughs> God. I mean, he acts like one, so... <laughs> Fuck you, mom. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so check out this guy. Oh, sweet. Cloverfield's in this game. <laughs> hey, five bucks says you can't figure out where to shoot it. I have no idea. <laughs> Is it the shell? <laughs> yeah. Is it the dick symbol it's got? What is that? 
The what? Oh, the texture on the crotch monster has like it looked like a symbol. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm gonna take your word for that. <laughs> But yeah, this is the first of what I could say is, like, really actually a boss in this game. Oh, it's good. It has little Ravenger babies. Yeah. Like, it's still kind of a set-piece battle thing, but... This is... This is <laughs> way more of a boss than, like, the Ravager and the other big boy. The Devourer. Yeah. Well, it looks like it's a combination of both of them. With yeah, kind of. Little booger booger bombs and yep, little baby boys. Yep. Man, these militia men. I think you guys should be doing what Cole does and run away from them. But... <laughs> yeah. Oh, that hurt. Yeah. So as it turns out. The, the frost shield doesn't quite work on the uh, <laughs> the booger bombs. I'm still not sure if it works on the um, the smaller gross projectiles, like the ones that the uh, the ravagers spit, that kind of look like um, green darts or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if the the frost shield works on those. It might, because they're smaller, and they don't really explode, I guess? They kind of do, but I'm not sure. So how come this thing is, like, not letting you pick up cars? Oh, you can pick up cars. It's just that, like... Is there only some of them in this? No, I could pick up any of the cars that I wanted. It's just the problem is uh, actually hitting it in the weak points oh, with okay. the cars is not easy. Okay, I just thought I saw you, like, try to lift two cars and they just wouldn't move. I don't know, maybe. What I do know is that running towards the camera at this point is... not the best. Like, they don't put enemies there to hide them or anything. <laughs> they did put a wall there, though. <laughs> yeah, they also do kind of make it a little tough to predict, like, which way he's going to go. Because he follows a set path instead of actually following you. So there's a couple of times where I kind of have Whoop! to... Yeah, oops! <laughs> yeah, most of the time, the, uh, the freaks here, they'll just... They'll fight with the militia, but... If there's not enough militia around, then... They just all go for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, whoops. He decided he's going this way instead. And I don't think there's, like, a set limit. Like, you gotta keep him from getting to a certain point. I think oh, eventually so. he just kind of goes in a circle. Okay. But it's not terribly hard. Yeah, this monster looks a lot less threatening the more I look at it. <laughs> I'm trying to get this green shit all over the oh, city. It's a mad nasty fart cloud. <laughs> I can run all he wants. It doesn't matter. I know his secret. And I am coming for him. <laughs> he looked like the end of Akira. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun! Hey, man. With Bertrand over in Flood Town, I'm guessing you want to head on over. I'll get the Transformers ready for you. Transform and roll out! Damn it.
Audio surveillance of Agent Lucy Quo, file G84. I realize you placed a lot of faith in me, Quo. I want to be deserving of that faith. And right now you're not? I need to confess something to you. The NSA asked me to record our conversations without your knowledge. What? Why? They never told me. Perhaps it's because you carry the conduit gene. I don't know. How often do you... All the time. If you like, I can submit copies to you along with my regular reports. I'm on your side. Audio surveillance of Joseph Burton, file B146. What kind of lemon are you trying to sell me, Doctor? The transfer device works precisely as designed. We are seeing an 86% power exchange rate between individual conduits. But what you're trying to do... I'm trying to turn a profit, Doctor. Your fancy machines cost money. Splitting the power stream among multiple recipients is dangerous. The results could be highly unstable. As long as it works, we're in business. Make it work. I paid a visit to the First Sun's dorms where the Wehrmacht men were housed. Subject 881 approached me and we took a walk. Recording follows. You seem agitated, Doctor. I think it was a lot of story. He's going to use the transfer device to break. I'm sorry. No, I can't say. Do you know where the conduit is? I just can't comment on this. You need to know something. The transfer procedure was never designed to split abilities among multiple recipients. I don't know what you You just got my attention. Theoretically, it will all be overcomed, so to speak. You will see a portion of the true conduit's power, but your body will wear itself out trying to sustain it. You may go insane. Why are you telling me this, Doctor? Bertrand, he wouldn't like it. I'm not a brave man. But if I'm right and you and your men lose control, then I'll have far more to fear from you than Bertrand. 